वेलकम टू माय लैब डिस्कवरी सॉल्यूशन पीसीआर किट प्रोटोकॉल फॉर न्यूक्लिक एसिड एक्सट्रैक्शन प्रोटोकॉल फॉर रेस्पिरेटरी सैंपल द प्रोटोकॉल इज डिवाइडेड इनटू फोर स्टेप्स फर्स्ट सैंपल लाइसिस सेकंड बाइंडिंग एंड वॉशिंग थर्ड एल्यूशन फोर्थ आरटीपीसीआर प्रोटोकॉल data analysis and result interpretation my lab extraction kit sample lysis binding and washing elution collectively called as extraction method which can be done at room temperature using extraction kit my lab patho detect rt pcr protocol data interpretation and result analysis can be done using patho detect minus 20 degrees celsius rt pcr protocol after your extraction is over you need to do the pcr identification of that nucleic acid for that you create a master mix for the sample number plus positive control negative control and no template control First, you take nucleus-free water into the master mix tube. Discard the tip. Now add PCR mix to the same master mix tube. add detection mix mix the tube and then flick the tube so that all contents are mixed give a quick spin distribute the master mix contents into the tubes or plates whichever are being used then close the lid of the stripes or on the plate make sure filled tubes are sealed like this transfer this tube to the sample addition area slowly open the lid
add your extracted sample. Add positive control Then add negative control Again, secure the tubes with the lid. After PCR setup, give a quick spin to the tubes. Load PCR tubes into amplification instrument and start the designated program for result interpretation. After the completion of the COVID-19 qualitative PCR run, Save and analyze the data following the instrument's manufacturer's instructions. For the validity of the run, you have to check the following details first. Number 1. NTC should be negative and should not exhibit fluorescence growth curves that cross the threshold line. Number 2. Positive control should produce a positive result with a CT value equal to or below 38 for RDRP, E-gene and RNase P-gene that is mix APC, mix BPC and mix CPC. If the expected positive results are not achieved, please consider this as an invalid assay. RNase P should be positive at or before 40 cycles for all clinical samples and extraction control. Failure to detect RNase P in samples indicate improper extraction or absence of sufficient human cellular material in the sample to enable detection. So, repeat the extraction for the particular sample and perform the assay again.